Hey guys, it's your girl Secret D with yesterday's strawberry letter response. This lady writes in, she's 46. She said her and her husband hasn't slept together since last October. They've been sleeping in separate rooms because he has a CPAP machine and he sleeps with the fan on and all this good stuff. So she don't sleep in a room with him anymore and they don't have sex. So she said that she he's always tired and cranky. So she started going out with a co-worker after work for drinks instead of coming home to a hostile environment she said that this went on for a while and one time they drank so much they ended up at a hotel having sex in the shower so she said for the past two months her and her co-worker have been having an affair she said it's exciting it's new all these good stuff so she said one time she ended up going out to meet her man. She said she gave her husband his sleeping pill, put the machine on, all this good stuff. And when he went to sleep, she stepped out in her satin pajamas and her fur coat to go meet her side dude. She said that they went, they had great sex, blah, blah, blah. And they left at 2.45 to go home. Halfway home, she runs out of gas. She said she hits up her side dude, and he said he couldn't come out the house because his wife was awake. She said she couldn't call her father because her father would have a bunch of questions, and she didn't want to answer them. She said she couldn't call her bestie because her bestie was in Arizona for the week, and so she had to call her husband. Now, she said she had to call him eight times before he picked up the phone and came and got her she said he came he didn't say a word picked her up and they went home she said that he still hasn't spoken to her and she thinks that her husband is gonna leave her now so she wants to know if she should make up a lie and tell it to him or if she should just wait for him to ask her about it and see how that conversation goes. Now, ma'am, just be quiet. Don't say shit. Just act like nothing happened. Just keep having conversations with him about nothing. If he's not saying anything at all, then obviously he ain't fucking with you. But if he's just not saying anything about what happened, then it's probably like a don't ask, don't tell. So just shut up. I don't like people that just be volunteering lies. That's like, that shit irks me, okay? If you're going to lie, at least wait until you have a reason to lie. Like somebody puts you on the spot, then you have to lie. Y'all just be out here volunteering lies. Don't nobody ask you shit and here you go with fucking lies. Just shut up, okay? You caught you cheated maybe you should stop cheating with this side dude you talking about what you should say maybe you should stop cheating you didn't even ask that should i stop yes you should stop maybe you know you should stop that's why you didn't ask i hope so because you should stop seeing this man obviously at your job y'all are both married y'all are despicable and disgusting okay 46 years i tell people it don't matter how old you are y'all be at these big 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 ages still doing dumb shit Anyway, leave that man alone. Don't go volunteering lies. If he say some shit to you, then y'all have that conversation. At least wait for a reason to lie and don't just go volunteering them shits. I don't like people like you. Anyway, y'all can let me know how y'all feel about it. The question was if she should tell, make up a lie to tell him or wait for him to ask. Just wait for him to ask. This is just like, it doesn't make sense to volunteer lies. Especially if it's going to be some dumbass lie. Because what makes sense that he caught you outside in your satin pajamas and your fur coat at 3 o'clock in the morning? The fuck was you doing with no gas? So you can't even say you went to get gas. Oh, I couldn't sleep. And I remember that I didn't have gas in my car. So I went to fill it up. Nope, can't even do that because you're stupid. Anyway, y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Bye.